Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's have a little fun here. I'm gonna draw my version of Ripley for Halloween. I guess we can call this the uh, Pop the Ripley version. All right, so here's the sketch, and this is all being played back in uh, double speed, so it's a little bit faster. And then toward the end, I'm gonna be uh, drawing it with a sharpie so that you guys can uh, follow along if you want to draw this as well. So let's just uh, let this run, and I will be right back. All right, so let's draw this. So I put in the uh, my original drawing on the bottom, which is kind of trace over it, and I'll simplify a little bit so that it's not uh, it's a little bit easier to draw. All right, so this one's gonna be pretty messed up, right? So it's gonna be a little bit wobbly. So don't worry about it if your shapes are not exactly the same. All right, so let's start off at the top. So I'm just gonna draw in the top of the circle, almost like a half circle, but a little bit messed up. And then from there, just curve this one down. So this is gonna be the bottom of the face. And then for this side here, we're gonna come down, gonna draw like a little teardrop. And then on the bottom here, let's just add another, kind of like a teardrop shape. Okay, and then from there, now we can draw in his eyes. So let's start off with a small one first. And again, 
the shape's gonna be a little bit messed up because it's supposed to be drooping down. Okay, come across. Here's the top. This one's gonna go down. This one's a lot bigger. And then for the highlight, I draw like a little oval because it's been stretched. So same thing here. And then now I just shade around it. All right, so those are his eyes. And then for his mouth, just come down here. Just gonna give him a sad face. And then let's add a little bit more detail. This is gonna be the upper lip. All right, so that's the head. And then on the very top here, here's a little spike that's gonna go through. And then we're gonna continue that. This is, I guess this will be his neck. So just come down and we'll just close that off for now. Okay, and then now we can draw in the body. So this one's gonna be, again, this is very gooey. So this is gonna come up from the center. So this is gonna be a shoulder. And let's just droop it down like this first, one little hook. And then on this side, I'm just gonna give it a little bit more variation. So those are his shoulders. And then once we have that, just come back to the middle here. Just gonna draw in a little U shape on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna slowly go up with these kind of, kind of drooping shapes. Just gonna curve up. And let's just go ahead and connect that. So that we have good separation. So we know this is gonna be the upper body. All right, and then from there, let's add in the, uh, I guess the, uh, what, the overalls right here. So we're just gonna pinch it in and then we'll just close that off first. And then again, we're gonna draw in the uh, pouches and then the belt, and then we'll fill in the rest of the body. So on the side here, let's go out. These are gonna be his pouches right here. So just curve. And then just come in and then just go back up. All right, and then for his belt, Come across and then the belt buckle, we'll just keep it simple. Draw two lines and then let's just add one little rectangle inside. All right, and then uh, little details here. Just come down right here. Here's a little flap and come across. So start here, come down and then go across. Okay, and then to finish it off right here, the little strap. Just come to the center right of this line right here and draw two little lines coming down. All right, and then now let's go ahead and finish up the uh, the body here. So I'm gonna start up here. Just gonna draw one curve going out and just kind of hook it back in. So come down and just hook it back into the uh, the little pouches here. All right, and then we'll add in the arms right now, and then we'll add in some uh, details in the body. So right here, here's the armpit. I know that's pretty messed up right now. So let's start on this outside. So I'm just gonna curve it down, and then here's the elbow. And then on this side here, I'm just gonna come in. And then for the lower arm, just kind of like two little brackets. And then we'll just close that off. Okay, so let's draw in the other arm first and then before we, uh, we draw in the hands. So on the back here, droop, and then here's the little elbow. So just use the other side for reference. So here's the, uh, the bend right here. So this is gonna be behind, so we won't see as much of it. And then now here, come down. And then whatever space you have here, just kind of come down, close that off. So here's the wrist. Okay, and then back to the hand here. So for the glove, so we just come down, little hook for the thumb, back of the fist, 
Let's hook it back in so it's almost the same as the other one that I used to draw, but just a little bit more wobbly. Just give it some you know crooked lines. Okay, so for the open fingers, and then let's just add in one line here for the glove. So same thing here, just come down, a little hook, back of the fist, and just kind of come down and hook it back up. And again, the same detail. One line. And let's add a little bit more, uh, kind of like these, these uh, drooping lines. So in the center here, just add a couple of curves. Looks like it's flowing down. Okay, so come in. Even over here. All right, nice and gooey. And now we can let's finish up the legs. So the legs gotta be a little bit skinnier. Just come down the middle here. Just draw one little curve like this first. And then now I'm gonna start on the outside. One bump, continue this and just close it off. And for the little belt here, I'm just gonna add one little section. So the shapes in here is gonna be a little bit more messed up, I guess. So start here, curve, continue this and just close it off. Add one section. And then for the knee, just come in with a little bracket. And then now for the lower leg, just flare out like this, just round it out. So flare out and just round it and close everything off. All right, and then for the boot, just taper in first. Same thing on this side. So here's the ankle. So make sure it's the same length. And then let's go ahead and draw in this one first. This one's seen from the side, so it's a little bit easier. Curve down like this, and just come all the way across. Come up here, here's the toe. And then whatever space you have here, just close it off. And then for the bottom here, I'm just gonna draw one block underneath. All right, and let's draw on the other side and then we'll add in the details. So same thing here, come down. And on this side here, let's start on this side and just draw like a little curve all the way out. So this is gonna be the tip of the toe. And then we'll close that off. So we're seeing this at a more of a three quarter view. And then same thing on the bottom. All right, and then for the laces here, Right in the middle, just draw one line straight down and come across. So kind of same thing on this side, a little bit further to this. And then let's just add in one little detail here. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the shape, so let's add some more detail up here. And then uh, let's see right here, let's draw one line down, just got a little pouch here, or actually some kind of holster. And then come down again and then go out. Okay, so same thing here. Right in the center, come down, come down again, and then just go out. And then lastly here, two little lines for the other strap. And that is it for this version of the uh, Pop the Ripley, just in time for Halloween. So hope you guys enjoy this kind of video, and if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.